Hello everyone. I created this procurement contract management template in Google Sheets to manage contracts more efficiently. Procurement contract management is a sub-process of procurement management that specifically focuses on managing the contract agreements between an organization and its vendors. It includes the entire life cycle of procurement contracts, from initiation to closeout, to ensure that both parties fulfill their obligations and achieve the desired outcomes. In this template, at the left corner, I have included a menu that will redirect to the different tabs. It includes dashboard, contracts, business companies or vendors, and settings. The main top area is cards counting the total contracts, open and closed. The scorecard will give total contract values. Below are donut chart defining the contract category type and a column chart giving the total values according to vendors. The last part is a table chart defining the list of contracts. The contracts tab includes the list of contracts. It has a drop down menu to select the contract category which will filter the contract according to the category. The blue button will add new contract details. Business companies include the list of the recorded vendors. The blue button will record the new vendor in the table below. The settings part gives the configurable details linked in the pop-up form. Purchasers include the company that you are working for. You can define by sectors, different branches, or even different companies under the same umbrella. The contract category can be modified according to the needs. File type same. Also, the ID key of the subfolder will specify the subfolder of the uploaded documents. First, I will add a new vendor. Let's now add a new contract. Purchaser, contract category and project manager that are in the drop-down menu are pulled from settings. The vendor ID is the ID that we just recorded vendor in the business section. In the drop-down menu, you can filter the contracts by type. Our example are services and work. Let me add another agreement for this example. At the beginning of each row, I have included the checkboxes that will redirect to the details of the agreement. In the main area are general details. The top left arrow button will return to the overall list. Related documents will open the pop-up screen to upload documents that are related to this contract. The documents will appear in the right table. Top right button change status to close. By default the status is open. Let's add documents. Let's say we are attaching this actual agreement. You can write the title, choose the drop-down type of document, and upload a file. Let's add some other documents related to this contract.
so if we return to view the details, the documents will not appear. Each recorded agreement has its own documents. All documents are saved in the subfolder that you specify in your drive. Let's say the contract has been completed, so you want to close it. You can click on the blue button, it will change the status. So in the list, you will notice the updated status from open to closed. In the Dashboard tab, the charts will also be updated. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions or feedback, let me know in the comment below.